Hey guys, Sean from Molly and Myrtle here, going to be talking about the geometric hat rack that we made. Due to technical difficulties, it's already been made, but we lost the footage, so I'll be talking about it today. Period. So we saw some scrap wood that looked like water and waves, kind of like this, and uh, decided to go with that. So we're going to cut over to the process video of us doing the epoxy, and hopefully you enjoy it. Here we are with the epoxy pour, and uh, for our mold, we just used some tape. Uh, we'd used it before on a different one, and it worked. As you'll see, it doesn't go that well this time. Uh, for the epoxy, we're using a total boat, uh, one-to-one -one mixture. And so you stir it for about two minutes in this cup, move it to another cup, add the color, stir it two more minutes, and then let it sit and let all the bubbles come out. So here we've added the color to the epoxy, mixing it for two minutes again, stirring it up nicely, trying to get everything mixed together, and then we will let it sit. The pigments are from Black Diamond, and we'll have the specifics on those below in the description. So now we're starting the epoxy pour. This is the blue from Black Diamond that we're pouring in there. And um, this is the first stage. As you'll see, we had to do a few stages, uh, mostly because we wanted to maintain that kind of wave shape so we couldn't just fill it to the top. This is probably one of our best fails. Um, Sean assured me that tape would hold the epoxy. It is not. It, it does not. Let me show you guys. So this is what I came out to. Not only did the tape not hold the epoxy, but it pulled out seeping out the side here, dripped down, dried, pulled here, pulled down here. Oh, and it gets better. Goes all the way down the side and onto the floor. Probably one of our worst fails. <laughs> Now we're going to try a new mold with some tips we got and uh, so we're going to do some hot glue and some melamine and uh, put it together and give it another shot. Alright, here we go. The glue already. All out. Alright, so we started gluing and then we ran out. So now we're starting again with more glue. We have to melt some of the old stuff. All right. Bolt smash.
that won't work. Now you got some extra sanding to do. Alright, that went really well. So well in fact, we're going to try a different method. So, we are going to clamp these together and put hot glue along the seams. Try that. Seems like it should work. Unclamped. Just too big of a gap on one side. I'm going to take it off. Have to sand down the old resin stuck to it. Try it out. Should have dried it first. If anybody walks by, it sounds like I'm talking to myself. So now that we got a mold that works, we're going to our stage two of the epoxy pour. So the second stage of the pour is the exact same as the first. We're still using the black diamond pigment and uh, mixing it for two minutes, switching it, putting the pigment in, mixing it again for two minutes, and then letting the bubbles pop. So here's the final product. And um, basically from the start, this is not what we planned for it to look like. Um, we plan to kind of pour the epoxy in stages and then use an angle grinder to make it look more like waves, everything like that. And uh, we had to use multiple mold attempts to get the epoxy going. Uh, we lost some of that footage, especially on the green and for the final white piece here and also the sanding is gone. Um, but once we poured it and took the mold off, we actually liked how it looked so much that we just left it. Um, just the kind of geometric shape to it, we thought was really cool. And so um, we did do a little bit of touch up with the lines to kind of make them a little bit more distinct. And so this is what it looks like now. So we had the what? <laughs> <laughs>